My name is Jordan and I'm a quality assurance engineer from Wenco International Mining Systems. Today I'm going to give you a short demonstration on how you could use route management to control how your equipment move across the mine. We can get started by clicking on the following button to open route management. In route management, you will see a series of folders. These folders contain your global constraints, routes from loading units, and routes from dumping units. Let's click one and see what's inside. Inside routes from loading units folder, you can see all of my active loading units. I can expand these subfolders to see exactly what routes haul trucks are taking from this loading unit. For this equipment, I can see I have two different routes haul trucks are currently taking. If I have this map highlight button selected, I can view the route highlighted on the map when I select it. Here you can see the route has been highlighted on the real-time map in yellow. I can view each of the route segments individually by expanding this folder. The segment is highlighted in blue on your route. Note that you can toggle this button here which will bring up the properties for a given segment when you select it. Now that you've seen the basic operation of route management, let's talk about constraints. In MindVision, there are two types of constraints, local and global. Local constraints allow you to disallow specific routes from using a particular segment or route beacon. Global constraints allow you to disallow all routes from using a certain segment or route beacon. There are two ways to set constraints. The first is from the route management window. Here you can right click on a segment and select to set a local or global constraint for that segment or one of the beacons that it connects to. The other method is by right clicking on the segment or beacon itself in your real time window. In this way, you're only allowed to set global constraints. This is because to set a local constraint, you also have to specify the route you want that local constraint to apply to. Before I set the constraint, you can see the route highlighted in yellow. By selecting a local constraint on this segment, I force the equipment using that route to recalculate their route around the segment. To remove this constraint, I can expand the local constraint folder for this route and choose to remove it. As you can see, the route is recalculated using the shorter route which includes this segment. Setting a global constraint is just as easy. This time I'll create a constraint by selecting a beacon on the real-time map. As you can see, the route has been recalculated and this global constraint is added to the folder in route management. Similarly, if I wish to remove this constraint, I could do so by right-clicking it in the global constraint folder and selecting remove constraint. I hope this demonstration has been informative and gives you some good ideas on how you can utilize constraints in MindVision to control and restrict the vehicle traffic in your mind. If you have additional questions regarding this feature, please consult the MindVision help documentation for further instruction.